Welcome, my dear students, to a new week. In this week, we will continue talking about the plant and the anatomy of the plant. We will be more specific this uh, week, and we will talk about the roots, stems, and leaves. Now, in this week, we will start to talk about the anatomical structure for each part of them. Uh, also, we will talk about the function for each one of them, how some plants are different from other in regarding to the structure of the root or the structure of the stem or the uh, type of leaves they have. During this week, we will identify the principal organ, uh, organs of uh, seeds plants, meaning that we will talk more specifically about the structure and how the uh, function of each seeds differ from one type of plants to another. To explain the primary function of the main tissue system of seed plants, now we will go deeper into the tissue of each of the uh, uh, each type of the plants, each part of the plant cells, and the main tissue systems that found in each one of them, especially in the seeds plant, seed plants. To construct mere stems with other plant tissue, also compare and contrast between each part of, uh, in each part of them. When we talk about the plant tissues, we talk about three main types of tissue found in the most of the plants. The one found in the roots, which is called the ground tissue, the one found in the stem, which is called vascular tissue. Now, why, we, why is it a vascular system? Again, vascular tissues mean that it contains of uh, vessels. These vessels will help to facilitate the movement of water and minerals uh, from the soil to the plant against the concentration gradient. So it's against the gravity. They, mean they need to, uh, to find a way that these vessels will let or uh, facilitate the movement of water into uh, into the, the part of the plants against the gravity. And the last one, which is the one found in the leaf, which is called the dermal tissues, which is, it's like comparing it with the skin of the uh, uh, in human, as you can see here, each one of them and the type for each part. Okay, vascular tissue, when we talk about vascular tissue, now we talk about vessels. Vessels mean tubes. These tubes will facilitate the movement of water or the movement of minerals. We have two types of vascular tissues, xylem and uh, phylum. Xylem and phylum, these two are the ones that facilitate this movement, and we will go through them in details. Ground tissue, which is the one that found in the roots, ground tissue produces and stores sugar and contributes to the physical support of the plants. Now, all of the extra amount of sugar that found in the, in the plants will be stored inside the roots or the ground tissue. Or, uh, moreover, these types that will hold the structure of the plants into the soil to make it uh, more, more supportive to, um, against any environmental effect that can uh, manipulate the, uh, the parts or the place for these, uh, for these plants. And now, in this, in this week, we will talk about the type of roots in details, the anatomical structure of the roots. Then we will go to the function for each one and part of these one and them also in details. Then we will go to the stem the anatomy, stru anatomical structure of the stem, the two parts of them, what is the primary and secondary growth for the stem. Then we will go to the leaves, the anatomical structure of the leaves, how gas exchange and homeostasis happened inside the leaves, and the transport of water and minerals in the plants, the using structure of capillary, and uh, how nutrient to transport. Thank you so much.